This video is brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with Rowan Yarns and Purple Linda Crafts. For more information, visit www.knitrowan.com and www.purplelindacrafts.co.uk. Just going to do a quick project on how to do a crochet trim. I've seen these a lot recently along blankets and along coats and garments. I'm just using a row of double crochet just to demonstrate but you usually blanket stitch along a fabric if that's where you wanted to do your trim. So this one I've just created a shell trim. It's really easy using three trebles, a slip stitch into the next stitch, three trebles and another slip stitch just to create these bumps. So I've just slip stitched. I can insert, do a treble do three of these into the stitch to give that raised effect and then a slip stitch into the next stitch. You can see here I've created another shell now along and if you would continue that along that would look really pretty. That's called a shell trim. There are loads of variations on it but that's probably the easiest one to do. So I'm going to create a quick slip stitch and move on to a more loopy trim, which you can do several variations of, including doing trebles into the actual loop itself to make it stand away from the things you're attaching it to. So I create some chain. So to start off, I'm going to do five chain and then slip stitch it three stitches from where I've done my chain. So I'm going to do two more chain slip stitch into one, two, three stitches along. Like so. Then I'm going to do another five chain. You can see it creates quite a loopy effect. Which again, it's a really, really quick way to decorate your clothes. So three stitches along and slip stitch into the third stitch. It's really easy and you can do different variations of it and it's a great way to decorate your clothes. You can see there are so many different variations on it you can make all your clothes look different or blankets or pillows.